on everybody the hippie hacker here today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more about the high five inventor created by BBC learning and tinker Happy New Year! Today I am so stoked to be showing you guys the Doctor Who High Five Inventor, but before we go ahead and get started, it would mean a lot to me if you went ahead and liked this video and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tech related videos from yours truly. I just want to put a full disclosure out that I was gifted the High Five Inventor from the company itself, however I am not being paid or told to say anything biased about this product. And so now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So what is the High Five Inventor? The Doctor Who High Five Inventor coding kit is a programmable Internet of Things mini computer that is designed to get kids coding. The High Five Inventor was created in collaboration with Tinker and BBC Learning, and it uses the same format as Tinker, but the only way to access the lessons is by making a one-time purchase of $74.95. With the rapid increase in Internet of Things devices and smart consumer products, opportunities for bright young minds with coding skills are being created every single day. The Hi5 Inventor is an IoT-enabled, hand-shaped mini-computer that is designed to teach kids how to control robots or work with IoT systems to discover a world of opportunities. The coding kit is created with built-in sensors, a 16 million color LED display, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, a lighted USB cable, external battery pack, speaker, and alligator clips. This kit comes with 20 lessons narrated by the 13th Doctor herself, Jodie Whittaker, and tons of additional activities where users will be able to master both Python and block coding. Coders will have the chance to create their own project sandbox where they can write their own code and program their own gadgets. So what does the software entail? Inside the kit, they provide you a unique code for you to go ahead and enter on their website. Then you'll need to define your account as either a student or a parent. If you're anything like me, you'll have a minor identity crisis and have to choose between being a schoolless student or a childless parent. I chose to be a parent. Once you log in, if you chose to be a parent, you have the option to add children to your account so all of your kids can go at their own pace. Afterwards, you'll see the dashboard, which contains four main areas. First you have block coding with Doctor Who, which includes 10 lessons of coding using Tinker. This follows the storyline of the Doctor landing on a planet and meeting a singing alien that has been collecting crystals for over a hundred years to help him make his way home on his spaceship. Then there's the MicroPython section with 10 lessons that are Doctor Who themed but are not interactive at all. In this section you're generally just reading a bunch of code snippets and little remarks from the Doctor herself. Then you have the Glitch Manor section which is a Tinker 10 lesson bonus which is also available for purchase on Tinker.com. These are significantly longer lessons that have nothing to do with Doctor Who but teaches you coding tricks as you go and navigate your way through Glitch Manor. And lastly, there's the Intro to Python section that contains 15 more in-depth lessons. The lessons in this section are not at all related to gameplay, but instead has a lot of documentation reading on the Python programming language with code snippets that you can run. And at the end of every one of their Python lessons, they quiz your knowledge by having you write your own code based on the reading. Alongside with the dashboard, we have the projects area. And over here, you can create your very own projects to deploy to your High Five Inventor and access your projects you created from the coding lessons. And lastly, additional to the program, you can create your own avatar, isn't all that impressive, and serves no purpose aside from populating your profile image. So as you start to dive in the lessons, you start to realize that the High Five Inventor does more than just teaching you how to code. It really teaches you or your child how to problem solve with the application. I like this program because it really gives younger students the opportunity to learn coding easily through Tinker Visual Block Coding. 
but it also gives the older students more exposure with micro Python, where I may show some bias because Python is my favorite programming language. While some parts of this program may be cheesy for an adult like me, there's no doubt that a young coder will have fun learning how to code alongside with the 13th doctor while developing real world skills. So in conclusion, the High Five Inventor is a great tool for anyone that is interested in learning how to code animations, games, tools, and so much more. It was designed as a portable device with lots of versatility for its users to enjoy and aims to create a building block of knowledge that students can combine with their imagination to tackle real world challenges. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you've made it this far, go ahead and leave a comment on which Doctor Who is your favorite. And also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tech reviews coming from yours truly. See you later!